Hello traders, this is Chris from uh, AAAFX, taking a look at dollar yen. You can see we initially did kind of pull back a bit in dollar yen, but we're hanging on to this trend line. So the analysis pretty much remains the same in the sense that we need to break this high, and then we need to break this high, and then we need to break this high with a 50 day EMA between now and then, kind of looming large. So let's take a look at the rest of the week. And without a doubt, the biggest factor in this is going to be the bond market. What's going to move the bond market? Well, the jobs report on Friday. As we head into Wednesday, we are getting to that kind of funky time of year where liquidity is dropping. But at the same time, uh, you know, a lot of times people don't want to put a lot of big position on uh, right ahead of your non-farm payroll. Um, there is the ADP non-farm employment change coming out. That's the private sector job report. Not a big deal. Uh, most of the time, unemployment claims uh, comes out on Thursday. And then, of course, we have those uh, non-farms on uh, non-farm payroll on uh, Friday. That being said, I expect a lot of noise. I don't know that I expect a lot of momentum one way or the other. If we do break down below the lows of the Monday session, then I think we could go look into 145. Somewhere in that area, we'll start to catch up with the 200-day EMA. This is a pair that has pulled back, you know, somewhat significantly as of late. But when I zoom out on the chart, you can see, you know, this is standard fare in this pair. So. I'm actually inclined to go long. I just don't want to throw a ton of money into this market right now. I, I realize that the next couple of days could be kind of funky. And then once we get past the employment figures, um, you know, at that point, we're already December 8th. We're a week or two from the end of the year. Uh, last 10 days or so, very illiquid. You have to be cautious. You have to cut your position size down. You can get these weird moves. And then sometimes the market doesn't move at all. You just never really know what's going to happen. Forming a hammer for the day does suggest follow through of the support from the previous one. So, so far it looks bullish.